Good morning and happy Friday, you guys. We are here at Wild Florida and we came on the perfect rainy day. So we're at Wild Florida and we are going to do an airboat tour first. Oh. Look how cute this shirt is. I like it. It's, it's pretty a, awesome. It's a good idea. Sloss would never harm you though. No. <laughs> I do think I will probably end up buying this shirt because it's ridiculous. It's just a gator here that's like begging for a high five. Yeah. Brilliant. A couple of little gators out here in a little uh, holding area before we get on the airboat. That's where we're going to go out and take an airboat ride. We picked a 30 minute airboat ride so we can come back and do some more exploring at the park here. Okay, I switched to the GoPro because we are going to get wet because it is raining right now. A little bit. But if you look back there, yeah, we're going to get wet. We're going out on one of these guys. Yeah, there's a little baby gator right there. Just hanging out. Ooh, wild. <laughs> Boat now. I got some wondrous hair, don't I? Baby gator. Baby gator. Some otters, like a family of otters, trucking through. In case anybody's wondering what these trails are down here, these are actually from the cows, like this guy right here. So, what did you guys think of the airboat? I absolutely loved it. It was the first time of me actually being on it, and I loved it. It was awesome. So much fun. Lots of baby gators. Yeah. Little, little teeny so tiny many. ones. Yeah. Their heads were like this big. They were so little. Yeah. Yeah. And what, like, we actually wouldn't even have thought of this, but Steffi wanted to do an airboat ride. And we're like, yeah, yeah we've never done it. Let's do one. This was awesome. It's really I fun. Would, I would, I think it was what, 25 bucks for about $25 for yeah. a 30 minute ride. We'll yeah. put the Plus, link. We'll put the link in the description so you guys can check out it. the yes. Wild Florida website. Yeah. And that includes admission to the park. So we're going to go yeah. into the park now and see. It's like a zoological thing. So they've got all kinds of different animals. Yeah. And we'll see even more besides the ones that we saw out in the wild. I'm yeah. so excited. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. I think we're going to eat some food real quick. It comes with your choice of two sides. Whoa. So you can get french fries and baked beans or something like that. I like that this is a, a top rated restaurant from 2015. And I just got a swamp slushy. <laughs> I have no idea what flavors it is because there was like 10 of them on the board. Uh, and I guess it's all of them because I didn't pick a flavor. It's a, it was passion fruit, uh, lychee and something else. Oh, here's my burger and fries. It looks pretty darn good. Kids, kids like, chicken tenders. This is for like a little chicken. burger at a okay, wild yeah. Florida place in the middle of nowhere. And then Jen got a kid's pulled pork with corn. So I don't know if you guys had the same thing in your bathroom, but in my bathroom, there's a little sign that says, here's what the male of the species is called, and here's what the female of the species is called, here's what a, a baby is called, here's what a group of them is called. 
No, did we you have this? If I if I did, okay. I didn't see it. So, what is a female turkey called? Ooh, I don't know. A hen? It's called a Jenny. Oh. What's the difference between a wildlife and a nature park? The guy back there told us that we have a chance to meet Fluffy. Who's Fluffy? He's the alligator. Duh. Oh, okay. Yeah. He was the three-headed dog from Harry Potter. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one is sneaking over. This is a macaw. Oh yeah. He's coming. He's coming to see us. You want to come see us? Hello. Hiya. And there's a couple of them in here. We were trying to figure out what kind of bird this was. Oh no. It just like eawed at me. Let's see if I eaw. Eaw. No, I'm just acting a fool now next to a a, a bird. Dave's the peacock whisperer. <laughs> it's coming over. I like your fun little plumage. This is called a miniature zebus. I don't know what that means, but it looks like a tiny cow. They let us go in, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, you're in here." You sometimes have food. Today we don't have any food for you. I'm sorry. I like this one giant one right here. He's big. But there's also these little babies, like sleeping down here. This is amazing. They said, please don't pick them up. Oh no, don't let him eat it. No, I want him to. He's so cute. No, don't let you him eat it. You can do whatever you want, you cute little goat. Look at how little chunky he is. I love him. There's an alpaca here. And these goats that are just like standing on this bench. He wants to just be as tall as the alpaca. Can I, what do you say? Can I touch your head? Yeah, we're best friends now. Okay. Jen wants a goat because all of the goats. It's like Ace Ventura. I'm like a kind of a goat Disney princess. The greatest of all time? No, like the actual one who has goats that come to her. I don't know. I think the. I think the. Crocodile right there. There's one back there. Yeah. We are underneath this overhang waiting to see an alligator and exotic animal show. Gravy here is a pygmy hedgehog. Uh, his name is Gravy because he was born on Thanksgiving. Oh. They have an incredible sense of smell. They like to dig to find little grubs and insects in the dirt. Oh wow, yeah. Anyone back there? All right, I'll walk right back around. That's cool. Yeah. Look at this little This one's famous Chris right here. And this one is Cross. And the reason we call them Chris and Cross is because they're ivory between a red and a yellow rat face. So you can see that in their colors. They got some reds and yellows and even some oranges on their bellies. Oh my god. They are North America's only marsupial. They're omnivorous. They'll eat just about anything. They'll eat insects, they'll eat meat, they'll eat fruit, they'll eat plants, they'll eat whatever. Blossoms themselves are actually immune to Lyme disease, rabies virus, and parvovirus. You can touch her tail too if you'd like. It kind of feels like a rat tail. Oh my gosh, yeah. Dude, they got around 50 teeth in their mouth. So I really want to. So Fluffy is an American alligator. There's two ways you can tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. First way is through their snout. So alligators have a rounded, U-shaped snout, where crocodiles are a little bit more pointy at the end, kind of V-shaped. It's illegal to feed alligators in the wild. That's when they become tagged as nuisance. So every single alligator that we have in this park, they're all nuisance alligators. We're heading into the alligator pond. But before we go in there, I just wanted to point out there's a zebra chair here. There's a snapping turtle in there. Where? In this one? You don't see him? He's giant. He's right there. And then over here we've got teenage alligators. They're coming right for me. And now we head to the adult alligators. These are the big ones. Pretty interesting to see the different sizes of alligators in here. If you look, like, this one's pretty big, but do you see how small his head is compared to the size of the head of this one? That is a big boy alligator. Oh yeah, look at that one. Oh, yeah, he's oh, like climbing up too. Hello. I was coming to you. Hello there. How are you? Oh, he wants to look at your mustache. You doing okay? I love you. Do you love me? Freebird. Freebird. Free bird. Okay. What? I think you said uh -oh. hello. Hello. I feel like he was asking Leonard Skinner to play Freebird. <laughs> Free bird. Right? I love you. Is that you. true? Pretty bird. Pretty bird. What? 
Bus right driver? I have no well, I think he's saying. He's like a, he's uh, it's like a radio. Possessed by a demon. I think that this bird is. I think he's brought us a present. That is so cool. What is this for? We found the female peacock. Or a pea hen. The bird is very upset with me for leaving. And it's just yelling. There's a fox here. Oh gosh, that was funny. That's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah, that, hey yeah. there. Yeah, this one is literally right next to me. Yeah. Like, He's like, hey, you got a quarter? Face palm <laughs> thing. If I got a quarter, I've got more than enough quarters. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a zebra over here. Hi. Holy cow. There's a couple of zebras. Hello there, zebras. This one's got its its plumage up. Wow. Holy cow. Okay, it's showing it off for the ladies over there. Oh no, it's too windy for you, eh? Hey, buddy. I like that you got your little tongue out. He did, yeah. He's fine. Oh, oh no, noises. That's okay, that's right. And then your little, it's a two-toed sloth. Look at his little face. So these are lemurs. Oh, look. Oh, just eat, eating his toes. There's some porcupines in there. It's pretty neat. They're just sleeping. Just notice that right there with the porcupines is a tortoise. He's their best friend. Also available here is this big swamp buggy that you can take out. It looks like they've got bus seats in it. I don't know where it goes. We didn't get to do that this time. Maybe the next time we come out, we will. It's gonna do it for us from wild Florida. Day's not over yet though. We're gonna go find something to eat maybe. So now we're inside of Target and I can't figure out what this section, I know that it's all about America. Is it for Memorial Day? And why do you need a megaphone? Also, this is kind of fun. It's like a party in a fanny pack. We came to Jen's favorite Thai restaurant. This is my favorite Thai restaurant. So I got pad CU, you. It chicken. looks really good. I got rice. Steffi got rice. <laughs> rice it's not here yet. I am called Yeah. Jen got yeah. shrimp pad thai. I did. And then we were just kidding. It wasn't just rice. No, it was red curry. Red curry. Mm. We, they call it crazy red curry here. Yeah. Just stepped outside and had a look up at the sunset. I haven't adjusted the camera at all. This is amazing. Let me just adjust a little bit right here. Oh boy. That's beautiful. We ended up the evening watching The Shining because it was just announced as a Horror Nights house. I don't think I can stay up to watch all of it because we have to get up real early in the morning. We've got something fun planned for tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.